Hello friends, Nick here at Studio. Today I'm going to show you a cool tip for PreSonus Studio One where you'll be able to mid side process any stereo track so you'll be able to do specific EQ or get creative with your effects or anything like that. So let's dive in and let's see how we make this happen. So you can see here I have the generic setup for mid side processing already laid out so you can see how it's done. So this is the mix tool which transforms our signal into mid sides then we use a splitter to channel split so we get our mid and our side channels separate and we can apply EQ or whatever we want and then we use a mix tool again to bring it all back together. So let's see if it's actually separating things into mid sides. So here's a basic drum loop. So that's the mids now. And now we're, we're going to hear the sides. Awesome. That is fantastic. How do we make this happen? Let's build this from scratch. Okay. So make sure you have the insert window open and you're in the routing page. If you need to open the insert window. Just click this knob here on the track in the mixer and then hit this and you'll be in the uh, routing page and let's insert the mix tool that's the first thing we need to make this happen mix tool all right and then make sure we hit the mix or the ms transform option so we have that enabled so that is uh, transforming our stereo track into mid sides and then from here we need to insert the splitter so and we need to make sure it's in channel split mode. So that will separate the mid and the side channels. If we were just in left, right stereo mode, it would separate by left and right. We would get our separate channels. So it's the same idea, but since we're in mid side mode, it's giving us the mid and the side channel, which is what we want. And then from there, we need to insert another mix tool. And then we need to hit the MS transform option again. But one thing that's going to happen is that it's going to be a little bit quieter than the original source. So let me show you what I mean. So with everything bypassed. It's quieter. And that's an easy fix since we have a gain knob here in the mix tool. We just need to increase the gain by 6 dB. And this will give us... A nice balanced signal so awesome so that's all we need to make this happen and then you from here you could save this as a preset and then you can recall it anytime and then insert EQs and stuff like that to get creative with your sound design so I already have some stuff going on here so let me bring this down here let me enable this you can see I got some EQ then I got some distortion so I got some a little bit of a low-end increase on the mids and then the sides, I got a uh, low end being cut out and then some distortion being applied. So everything disabled. Cool. And then we have this rise here. You can use this to add some extra width or whatever to a track or um, you can clean up the low end like I did here uh, to make uh, everything below a certain frequency go mono so kind of like the bass lane uh, VST that was pretty popular um, there's some 64-bit alternatives that you can get but you got to purchase those but if you already have studio one uh, you don't need to do that you can make it happen with this cool trick so Hopefully you found this useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll be coming back at you with another video in a bit.